Hello beautiful people, welcome to Remy's Fashion. My name is Remy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a 720 degree peplum. Are you looking for a fashionable top to wear this season? Look no further than the 720 degree peplum flare. This stylish and trendy top is perfect for any occasion. It features a traditional peplum silhouette with a unique flared hemline, giving it an eye-catching edge. With its impeccable cut and comfortable fit, you'll be sure to love this top. Whether you dress it up or down, the 720 degree peplum flare will always make a great statement. Watch the video to the end because I'm going to show you how to apply crinoline, which is also known as horse hair, to make it stand. Let's get started. Measurements you will need are, you will need your waist circumference and the length of your flare. The waist circumference I'm going to be using for this tutorial is going to be 38 inches. And the length of the flare that I want to use is going to be 7 inches and I'm going to add 1 inch allowance to it. And that's going to make it 8 inches. I'm going to add half an inch allowance at the top and half an inch same allowance at the bottom. If you want to add pleats to yours, you will have to add to your waist measurement. For the sake of this tutorial, I will not be doing that. So I'm going to use my measurement of 38 inches. The materials you're going to need are, I'm going to be using this fabric here, which is popularly known as Ankara. And then this is the lining I'm going to be using. And then you should have interfacing. This is gum stay, which I'm going to iron to my line. Lining. And then you need crinoline. So this is white and this is black. You can decide whatever color you want to use or any color that fits your material. That's what you should use. And then hemming gum and, and all other items you need for sewing. A full flare is 360 degrees. That is a full circle. Double of that will give us 720 degrees. That means two full circles will give us 720 degrees. For our waist to fit into 720 degrees, we will divide our waist circumference measurement by two. For a full circle, we will use the full waist circumference, which is 38 inches in my own case. For a 720 degree peplum, my waist circumference is going to be divided into two, and that is 38 divided by two, and that's going to give me 19 inches. The formula to cut a full circle, which I discussed in detail in our tutorial on how to cut a circle skirt. If you have not seen that video, I'll put the link in the description box above. So we're going to be looking for the radius and the formula to find your radius is radius is equal to waist circumference divided by 2 pi times 3.14. So once you calculate that, to simplify it, radius is equal to waist divided by 6.28 inches, where 6.28 is a constant. So now I want to find my radius. And because we're going to be doing 720 degree flare, I'm going to divide my waist circumference divided by 2. And mine is 38 divided by 2 is going to give me 19 inches. So to find the radius of my peplum, I'm going to divide 19 by 6.28. And that's going to give me 3.0. I'm going to approximate it to 3 inches. So my radius is 3 inches approximately. And the length of my peplum is going to be 8 inches. So for me to know how much I'm going to put on fold, I'm going to add 8 inches plus 3. That's 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. And I'm going to double that amount. 11 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 22. So I will fold a total of 22 inches. So this is the fabric I'm going to be using. So I'm going to measure 11 inches. 11 inches puts me here. I'm going to mark and I'm going to fold it again. Once I fold it, that's going to give me a total of 22 inches. So to confirm, this is 11 inches. Okay. And then because I folded it, I have a total of 22 inches. And then from the top of my fabric, I'm going to take measurements. Okay. Remember I said I were adding three inches to the length of the flare. So eight plus three is going to give me 11. So I'm going to measure 11 inches down. 11 inches, that puts me here. I'll mark. So this is where I'm going to be folding. So I'm going to fold it again. So I folded it. This is the fourth fold. So this means I folded my fabric into four. Remember we folded it into two and then I'm folding again. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the radius of my flare, which is three inches. Once you do your own calculation, you measure what yours is. So from this edge, I'm going to measure three inches like this. So three inches, I'm going to measure three inches all round. And 
and then I'll connect the points. And this is the radius of my flare, which is three inches. And then I'm going to measure from these three inches, I'm going to measure the length of my flare. And the length of my flare is eight inches. So from here, I'm going to measure eight inches like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing all round. And then I'll connect the points. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is one flare. This is a full circle. And because I need two full circles, because one circle is 360 degrees and two full circles, which is 360 degrees plus 360 degrees is going to give me 720 degrees. So I'm going to cut out another circle. So I will use this one now to cut the second one. So these are our full circles for the fabric. See? This one full circle and this another full circle. So these are the two full circles on my fabric. So I'm going to use this now to cut out the lining, two of the lining as well. So I've added interfacing to my lining and then I folded into four, just like we did for the fabric. And then I'm going to now use the fabric to cut out the lining. It's going to be exactly the same thing. And I'm going to cut out two. So after cutting them out, this is what I have. I have four circles, two lining pieces and two fabric pieces. So these are the lining pieces and these are the fabric pieces. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out one part. You know, we have one, two, three, four. We have four sides. So I'm just going to cut out one side. Okay. So I'll just take my scissors. So I'll cut out one side of the lining and one side of the fabric. So after cutting out, this is what I have, see? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the two fabric pieces together and the two lining pieces together. So these are the main lining pieces and then fabric pieces. So just join them together on one side. So I'm going to join right side facing right side. I'm going to use half an inch to sew. So I'm going to join them together, main fabric, and then I'll do the same thing for my lining. After joining the two circles together, that's lining to lining and fabric to fabric. This is what we have. So now we have one long piece. Okay. So what you need to do is iron your seams open. Okay. I've done that for mine. This is that for my lining and this is for my main fabric. So after joining them together, this is what we have. So the next thing we're going to do now is to join the lining and the main fabric together. Right side facing right sides at the bottom. So this is my lining. And then this is my main fabric. So I'm going to place my main fabric on top of my lining. The bottom is where I'm going to be adding my crinoline. Place your fabric and lining together, right side facing right sides. Okay. So you see, see, this is one long flare. This is 720 degrees flare. This is my flare. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my crinoline. I'm going to use my crinoline. I'm going to sew it at the bottom of my peplum. So this is my crinoline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew it to the lining side. Okay. So I'm going to turn it like this and I'll place the crinoline on the edge of the hem and I'm going to sew it all the way round till I get to the end. While I'm sewing this, I'm going to sew in my hemming gum as well on top of this so that when I turn it inside out and iron, it will help it to lay really flat. So this is my hemming gum. So I'm going to sew the crinoline and then sew the hemming gum on top as well. What I did is that I pinned my crinoline to my lining side. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to sew it all all the way and while I'm sewing I'm gonna add my hemming gum to it like this all the way and then I will sew round once I finish that I'll turn it over and then I'm gonna iron it all the way so let's go to the sewing machine now and sew our crinoline to our lining and fabric pieces so now I'm gonna sew So I've sewn my flare and this is what it looks like. 
all round. So after sewing in my crinoline and hemming glue, I have finished sewing, I've ironed it down and this is what my peplum flare looks like. See how wavy it is and it's nicely done. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side. See how neat it is, nicely finished. So the next thing you will do after sewing all that, sew the sides closed and you sew your peplum flare to whatever top you want it on. So with these, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe if you have not done so already. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'll be in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Take care and God bless.